Hello everybody, welcome in! Thank you so much for coming out today! He 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 I love this music, it makes me very happy, it makes me feel very light and fluffy and all sort of... You might even say... Sweet. <laughs> Hello everybody, thank you very much for coming out! This is my first ever sponsored stream and I'm really really excited um, to, to give it a go. I've never done one of these before and uh, it's super cool. So first of all I just want to say a really really big thank you to Dev Sisters and Cookie Run Kingdom uh, as a whole for sponsoring me today and for giving me the opportunity to play this game. Uh, I really enjoy, I've been really enjoying it so far and uh, I'm looking forward to playing it for a little bit today and hopefully showing you guys more of what this game has to offer. So uh, first of all I understand there might be quite a few of you in here who uh, do not know me uh, because maybe you're coming in from the Cooking Run fandom, which is completely fine. Hello, everybody. My name is Vox Akuma. I am a demon from Nijisanji EN. Uh, I have a long and very angsty backstory, uh, but I'm 400 years old, kind of a boomer, but also uh, a, bit, a bit of a goofball, and I love uh, to play video games. And today we're going to be playing another video game, which is Cooking Run Kingdom, which if you're a fan of, you've most likely played before. And to those of you who are kindred already, my fans, those of you who know me, uh, and but perhaps do not know Cookie Run Kingdom, now is my opportunity to introduce you to the game. So, from what I've played of it so far, Cookie Run Kingdom is a really interesting blend of uh, multiple genres, really. So Cookie Run, from what I understand, has been, it's been a thing for quite a while, it's been a, um... It's been a franchise for a little while with different kinds of games, but Cookie Run Kingdom specifically uh, is a game where there are two sort of main modes. There is kingdom building and there's the combat. And I think both of them have a lot of um, a lot of interesting stuff in their own way. Oh, slow motion. My bad. My bad. Chat. Thank you for reminding me. I've been all I've been all caught up in. Um, I've been all caught up. All caught up in the excitement of the situation. Thank you very much for your kind your kind reminders. So it's essentially just a game where you go into this very... How was that? Something behind me fell over. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm focusing on different things right now. Cookie Run Kingdom is a game where you build an adorable little kingdom in a world that is populated entirely by people made out of sugar and cookies and sweets and cake and all of that kind of stuff. And I was watching Pomu's stream a little bit of, um, a little bit ago, just kind of getting myself ready for this one. And she, I, remember, I recall she mentioned you really shouldn't play this game when you're hungry. And I kind of I have to agree. I don't have much of a sweet tooth. I tend to prefer spicy food, but. Good lord, a lot of the things, a lot, they, this, this game has a tendency to remind you, remind you how good this kind of food is, and also to remind you of certain types of food that you forgot existed, which is, uh, which is a lot of fun. It's really, really nice. The, the story kind of begins with a lot of angst, really. There's like this whole backstory with all of these really powerful cookies that get created by a witch, and then the witch is evil, and the witch casts them down, and they have to start their own kingdom, and then you begin as this little dude called Ginger Brave. And I love Ginger Brave. I think a lot of people might not like Ginger Brave. Maybe Ginger Brave might, might, might be sort of like, like shonen protagonist to some people. Me, personally, I love the guy. I think he's fantastic. He's just this little default-ass gingerbread man who just shows up and he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat the bad guys! And he's all you have to go off of, and from there, you use gingerbread to meet new friends, build a castle, and run through the forests, beating the shit out of people. It's a lot of fun. It's a really unique little gameplay formula, and there's a lot of things that kind of go into making this a pretty well-rounded experience. There are a lot of different things available as well, so not only do you have the whole kingdom building, but you've also got the uh, the combat and, and etc. And also there's a PvP mode, and, as my kindred will know very well, something that I'm a big fan of is gacha. And this game also happens to contain gacha, which is uh, quite exciting. And uh, yes, before you before you ask, yes, I will be engaging in quite a bit of gacha before the end of the stream. We will be jumping into the the oven 
as it were, and will be attempting to bake some rare cookies. I know that all of you are worried about the state of my wallet, but please don't worry. I have thought very long and hard about this, and I wish to acquire that rat bastard wild berry cookie. He's the brand new one, and it says epic on him. And that makes me want him. I see a bright, shiny color, and I think, oh, do you know what? I want to put you in my pocket. I want to put you in my pocket and pat you on the head and say, oh, you've been very, very good. And then perhaps I'll eat him later, but in this game, you don't eat the cookies. See, that, I think, is the... Really, the... The disaster in this game, really, is that there are so many cookies, but... Well, there's not a... There's not a drop to eat. And as my lovely sponsors in chat have mentioned, yes, not only is there Wildberry Cookie to get, who seems to be sort of the face of the new banner, there's also an extra rare cookie called Clotted Cream, who seems a lot more mysterious than the others. And, well, let's be honest, right? My gacha luck is always a little bit surreal. Last time, you know, playing playing some other games, you wind up sort of being like, oh, I'll just go for one pull and bam, you get the five star and all that kind of stuff. I kind of feel like we're going to wind up getting it this time. I kind of have an inkling that we're going to bring Clotted Cream home. But who knows? Who knows, right? So yes, that's sort of a bit of an overview of the game. And also something you should be aware of is that there's a new event and a new update that's come out recently. So the main one is that there is a new episode of the storyline. It's episode 15, which is part one of the Cookie Odyssey. Now, I'm unable to show you that myself because it takes place quite further forward quite further forward in the game than I have reached so far. You're going to have to be quite a gamer to reach that point, but if you are a late game cookie run gamer, you're going to wind up having a lot of fun with the new episode that they've put out. Obviously, we've already talked about the Epic and Super Cookie, but also in the PvP arena, there is a Grandmaster tier that's been added, which should add a lot more excitement for the competitive cookie runners among you. Competitive cookie runner, I am not, and today we'll be doing a little bit of PvP, but it most likely won't be at that level. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's no chance it could be at that level. I think that takes quite a bit of time. So, no worries. No worries then. Alright. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in and show you guys what my kingdom looks like. Let me just move, move chat over a little bit, make sure that you guys aren't in the way of anything. Eh, but... Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. All right. Are you ready to see my kingdom? I've been working quite hard on it. This is... If you look at the top left, this is Mick Hassel. I've quite... I've been quite enjoying getting it all set up. I've been working very hard on it. We have quite a few gems. We have quite a few jellies in store. Oh, it's wonderful. I have to collect my candies, the star jellies, that I would use to upgrade the cookies. So, as a stats management person, well, I mean, you might not think, you might not think that of me, but... I like seeing numbers go up. As a RuneScape gamer, I like seeing numbers go up, and a lot of numbers go up in this game. You're always increasing numbers, and it's very satisfying. So, for example, we got the Alchemist cookie over here. She's a certain level at the moment, but... Once you reach a certain number of things, you can promote them with a little bit of gold. Increase their stats. Imprison them in the oven and presumably... Presumably you would think, oh no! Death! But no. Their power increases. This is a truly terrifying world. There are a lot of things that you need to micromanage in this game. A lot of things that you can do to increase the power of your cookies when you go into the combat. And so I'm going to go through and make sure that I max out all of the ones that I have right now. Where'd she go? Gah, where'd she go? I don't know, Night Cookie. Why don't we find out? Promote! <laughs> this game's got a lot of juice to it. You know what I mean? It's got a lot of juice. Where whenever you click something, it's like... Every time there's like a little... It's my favorite thing about these kinds of games. You just It just gives you like a little green thing and it shows you, oh, there's something you can click on. And I'm like, yeah! Yeah, baby! Something to click on! And then it shows me a little animation when I click on it. I'm like, oh, I like your funny words, magic man. 
It's brilliant. This is the guy I was talking about. This is Ginger Brave. Now remember, if you're a Ginger Brave anti, I don't want to see you around here. Ginger Brave is my man. Ginger Brave is my main boy. Look at this look. Look at this little guy. First of all, he's got beautiful hair. And second of all, he's got a heart of gold. He's a frontline fighter, despite being a little squishy. I like this man. I like this man. I think this man is exactly what I want in my party. And there are a lot of other cookies we haven't unlocked. See, I've been working pretty hard. I've got a lot of cookies at my disposal for combat. But the thing is, there are so many left. So many left to get. Which, I mean, as a gacha person, it really does just kind of trigger my my senses. It makes me really want to just... Ah, it's time to spend money. You know what I mean? Oh, it's time to spend some money. But regardless, this is sort of the basis of the cookie building thing. So we've upgraded a few cookies now. There's also quite a bit that you can do around here. So normally you would build things with your with gold. This thing, however, there's also something you can build: the sugar gnome's hut. And I just I'm gonna I'm gonna you I'm gonna build one of these just to show you guys how it all works. So it really works a lot like other mobile games where you would build a kingdom in that you would. Spend a little bit of currency to place down something, and that kind of increases the productivity and the value of your base. It's always going up, and there are always numbers to represent how well you're doing. The main one being your kingdom level up in the top left. You can see beneath the beautiful name of my kingdom, Micastle. If you go up to the top left, you can see a level which will increase whenever you add anything to your kingdom. And we've got all these different buildings. Here we have the carpentry shop, where you can use... Believe me, believe it or not, log cake to make toys. And then this little cookie is hard at work. Shaving that away. Oh, it's gorgeous. You can see all of the cookies that you collect just walking around, and I think generally it's just really nice to see all of the people. Uh, you can pick them up like the hand in the in the me creator on the Wii, which is very cute. Um, I wish that there was um I wish that there was a, a thing that said Me Plaza on it, so I could just grab and be like, You're going to the Me Plaza. No! Nah! The Jammery. I'd like some sweet jelly jam, please. <laughs> Click one button and it's yours after a certain amount of time. Jelly Beans Farm. Jelly Bean Farm. Brah! You gotta make sure you log in frequently, because if you don't, these buildings are going to be going to waste. They're not going to be making all of these sugar cubes. They're not going to be making all of these jelly beans. No, 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 no. But we sat there idle. You've got to be a leader. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. No, that was the wrong one. Cancel. Cancel, 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 cancel. We want a bundle. Yes, efficiency. That's what I'm talking about. And last of all, of course, is the smithy. We can make all sorts of things. The tempered pickaxe, the candy saw, and the robust axe. How about one of each? One of each. Oh, gorgeous. And in that time, the houses have been producing star jelly, which you can use to upgrade your cookies. I'm also going to hack down this part of the forest because, well, it 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 it, it is my it is my right. It is my right to hack down these trees in the name of industry. This is what we want from this adorable game. So, you're probably wondering. But what about the combat? Well, why don't we take a look? It's split into a lot of different things. There are bounties, which give you kind of like a specific thing to fight. And there's also sort of a campaign in world exploration where you run around and you experience the story. Right now, I've just gotten a little bit past episode two. Um, I'm going to be honest. This game's hard. <laughs> Deforestation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is, um, I'm gonna be honest, this game's hard. Like, episode two I was going through a little while ago, and I was like, especially around this area, like 211, this bar, th this boss, and this area, I was struggling. I, I'm not gonna say that I had, I was so bad at the game that I considered, considered wailing that early, but I mean, listen, 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 you've got to, you've got to really manage your, your cookies pretty well, because it gets to this point, it gets to this point pretty quickly, and suddenly you're thrown into the deep end, and then, you get hit with these enemies, you get hit with this guy, you get hit with this boss, and suddenly it all goes to fucking hell. 
It's not good. But thankfully, we've made it past that point. My cookies have grown greatly, and now we're waltzing through the next part of the campaign. 3-4, right after Brown Sugar Valley. Why don't we take a look? I really like this girl. I really like what she does. It's kind of interesting the way you have to manage the combat. So I'm going to jump into a battle right now, and I'll kind of show you how it works. Okay. Each cookie has a unique ability. So, my favorite one is this lady, who you unlock very early on. I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure it's kind of like a guaranteed thing, but she will always teleport to the rearmost enemy and deal a lot of damage. And so, you sort of have to combine it with a, um, with someone else's ability to line up as many enemies as possible. So, for example, uh, what, oh, what's his name? Gingerbrave has this ability where he shoves enemies back, and in that way what you can do is you can get them all on the same line, and then with this lady, you can slash them all to pieces. However, if you do it wrong, well, I mean, she's not going to wind up doing much at all. And I actually, when I was first getting into it, I lost, like, a lot of battles because I used her ability wrong. And then you've got to deal with the comp, and you've got to deal with the cooldown, in which time, well, a lot of people might get overwhelmed. I think the combat is, it seems simple at first glance, and I think that it is, it is simple to an extent, but to me, I think that it is so in a way that is deceptive. It's deceptively simple. Each cooldown is pretty instrumental to winning a battle. I mean, I, I found that each one is like quite difficult if you don't do it correctly. Um, there, there is an auto option that you can use, but I mean, you know, if you're a real gamer, you're going you're gonna to wind up like wanting to manage those abilities yourself. Let's get into another one. I find the story mode really addictive. You just kind of get to plow through. Exactly. See? That's exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to bust him back with this dude so that she can do all of the damage. And also, when you deploy your team, something that something that's also a lot of fun is kind of like the planning of where you place them. So this lady is kind of like a mid-range fighter. She's going to be doing stuff from mid-range during the time, but then, obviously, she doesn't need to be up in front for her ability to work. Whereas these two in the back are sort of like support characters, and so, or casters rather, and so they use ranged abilities, and so the big meatheads up in front can keep them safe for a long time. The enemies do look cute, and I think this presents a really interesting moral dilemma while you're playing. It's like, you know, your plan is to go through and find answers about this witch and about you know, how to grow your kingdom and how to assert justice and valor across this land. But then you have to realize it's like all of these enemies that you're killing, they are really very adorable. They're all just as sweet as we are. So are we the real villains here? I don't know. And again, these, okay, okay, these guys are a little, you know, gink goblins. These guys are pretty, yeah, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't find them terribly cute. Then again, you might change your mind. If you're a fan of Gink Goblins, I am not... I'm not, um... What's the word? I'm not invalidating your opinions. Gingerbrave, my favorite boy! What have you got to say? Huh? Why are you sniffing me? Huh? You're making me uncomfortable. I, I won't say anything. It's for your own good. What? That's really unsettling. Gah! That's the foul gink goblins! Aha! I thought that was the wizard cookie's smell! What? Sweetie meaty cookies, you gotta pay! What's the price? 20,000 crystals! Well, we'll just come back then, so long! Wait a minute, on what grounds are you taking this fee? Well, this is... <laughs> All right, just don't regret it later. Got to make sure to turn the voice acting back on. I think I did so because I needed to needed to make quite a bit of progress for this stream, but the voice acting in this game is of a really high quality, so I'll definitely make sure to turn that back on. You guys deserve to hear that. Oh, 
And then, of course, my favorite part of the game, suddenly introducing platforming. As you saw by that fantastic display, I am not very good at platforming. I'm good at platforming when I play, yeah, but when I play other games, but in this game, this is daddy's platforming, you know what I mean? You gotta time it correctly or else you're not getting your extra coins. Ah, uh, mimics. Terrible business, that. You guys ever reach your hand into a very inviting looking chest and have it bite that same hand off? I have. But I have two hands still. You might wonder, why is that? Well... Who am I to judge? Who am I to tell you, eh? Look, the guild button has appeared. Let's tap it. If you wish to fight alongside your allies, you can join a guild. Ah, I hadn't reached this point before. So, so I suppose like in other games, like in other online games, you would grab a guild if you wish to make friends with some other people. You can also create a guild of your own. Let's invite more players to the guild. Not right now, I'm actually on quite a tight schedule. <laughs> you guys give me just two seconds. Hang on, I'll move. You gotta see his face. He's kinda cute. Yeah, run away! Shoo! Look over there! Do you see those clay huts? Looks like that's the village. Let's go! If you guys will give me just two seconds. I'm gonna see if I can't remember to turn that voice acting back on. Because I, I, I think they I think that be it's on. I guess I guess they just don't have um I guess some parts just aren't voice acted. I just wanted to make sure that I hadn't messed up with the settings, because when there is voice acting, you gotta hear it. I think it's really, really, really good. And what is this pilgrim village? The last village on a pilgrim's path to the vanilla... Ooh. The pilgrim village. Oh. <laughs> wow. Is this the pilgrim village? Looks pretty big and well off! I should have made this place my kingdom. <gasps> Welcome to our village, wanderers. You must have come a long way through the desert. May I offer a glass of ice cold soda? Damn it, now I'm thirsty. Whoa, thanks! Thousand crystals, please. Spit it, strawberry cookie. Patsui! It's nice to... I'm getting mixed up. It's nice to tell such things in advance. Yeah, pardon me, good sir, but we all have to eat, right? Do you happen to know anything about the greatest cookie kingdom of the past? You must be talking about the Vanilla Kingdom. Vanilla Kingdom? <coughs> huh? Why didn't you tell? After all, your humble servant here is a descendant of the Vanilla. What? And you're saying this now? You didn't ask! And do you, by any chance, know the way to the Vanilla Kingdom? I don't! All I know about the Vanilla Kingdom is that my soft and silky hair is the sign of a true Vanillion. My dearest cookies, if you wish to go to the Vanilla Kingdom, you must pass the trials first. I suggest you visit the Traveler's Rest just outside our village. There, you'll find all the information you might need about our Pilgrim Village and the Vanilla Kingdom. Visit Traveler's Rest. Ooh, let's have a look. Let's have a look, shall we? So we're going to have to make some more progress. All right, let's do a few more combat levels and then we'll try out some other content, shall we? So after, after a little bit more of the routine combat, I think we can jump in and do a little bit more. Well, not a little bit more, but a little bit of that, a little bit of that PvP action. You know how competitive I can be? You guys have seen me play Smash. I am a, I'm a terrible person. I, I have, I have many flaws I need to work out as a person. But I mean, it does make for good content, right? 
This game, it just has this, it just has this fixation on being so, it's like, it's, well, in, in a way it is like a cookie in itself. It's so sweet that to some, it might sting in the mouth with how sweet it is. It might overwhelm you. But I think to those who, are, who have a sweet tooth, I kind of don't think there's much better, better to offer than this game. It's so irresistibly cute at every possible moment that maybe that sweetness might be a little rich to some, but I don't know, not to me. I think it's rather nice. Heal that guy! Come on! Is that not the heal? I guess they are the healer. They just kind of chose not to heal the dude on the right. He just doesn't really need it. Thanks for the treasure! I don't know about that, I mean... Cookie Run Kingdom? Yes. Yes, random chatter, this is Cookie Run Kingdom. Thank you for asking. If you follow the link in the description, you can download it now. I think... Something that's fun about this game is that, it'll hit, is that in the beginning it hits you with quite a few relatively easy combat encounters and then what I found is that when I started getting to World 2, I sort of started getting my dick knocked off. Like there was a lot of really difficult stuff that it threw at you and you kind of have to come up with some interesting strategies based on the cookies that you have. So I remember, god what is it, I think it's World 2-2. Nine. There's this big wall. I like it when it does that. There's this big boar who attacks you, and he keeps summoning these little dudes. And I got left with just the the little king cookie and with the spicy chili pepper cookie. So I had one person for healing and one person for damage, and they were both on really low health. But it hit a point where all I had to do was be patient and remember to only use the spicy cookie's ability when they were all lined up, and to keep healing as soon as he got his ability. And my God. Winning that was pretty, pretty satisfying, I have to say. I will keep my oath. Blah. Bada bing, bada boom. Easy, easy. Ooh, it's asking us to exit. I wonder what could be on the outside. The stone wall. Ah, yes. Let's produce another thing. And build it. All right. How about we do one more? One, just, 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 just. Can I just get one more? Just, just, just another singular, singular combat encounter, if you wouldn't mind. We got more mimics out here. She's gonna take that one out. We're gonna bada bing, bada boom, and instantly we're through the first wave. See, this game might be hard at points, but I think it's kind of easy when you're an elite gamer like me, you understand? Who ordered SPICY?! That's me. That's me, I always order spicy. You know, I'm... I, 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 was, I was chatting to a friend recently who told me this story about, um... About, about a friend of his who was so used to eating spicy food that everywhere he went, in a tiny hidden pocket on his coat, he would carry a bottle of Tabasco sauce. Because everything- his taste buds had been so scorned. His taste buds had been so scorned by spice that they didn't work anymore. And so he had to add Tabasco to every single thing that he ate. That's what, that's what this spicy cookie makes me feel, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna say I'm sipping, I mean she's an anthropomorphic cookie, but I mean... She has nice hair. And I do like spicy things. In fact, I, I would, I would even say that I'm a fan of sugar and spice, and perhaps even everything nice. Okay, see, that's the thing about the whole Tabasco story, is that I feel like that's what's gonna happen to me. I f I'm at a point now 
where because they've become so addicted to spicy buffalo sauce, one of these days my taste buds will just cease to function. I've already had that with sour. With sour sweets, I've already reached that point. I've already gotten that far with sour sweets, and spicy is yet to come, of course. So eventually, I just won't be able to taste anything at all. Oh, look at me go. Oh, look at me go. Yeah! It will happen to me, I think. I'm so addicted to spicy buffalo. Oh, go, go! No, 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 no! Yeah! So you don't get that kind of thing when you're working on autopilot. When you click the auto button, you don't get that kind of supreme gameplay. Like I have. You understand what I mean? Obviously, auto gaming is valid, but I would never be an auto gamer. Because I'm the best of the best. You know what I say? You know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Ooh, all right. That was one more, so back to the kingdom. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at how things have progressed while we've been gone. Of course, this beautiful gnome. God! This hard-working gnome has cleared this area of the forest. And now all of this space is available for us to clear and gather these resources. Remove those weeds, you large, bemuscled man. I like this one. When he uses his ability, he throws a gigantic dumbbell and he says, It's lifting time! Bro, do you even lift? I also kind of appreciate just the quality of life changes they've added. Well, not changes, but just quality of life features that I think a lot of other mobile games don't have. You know, not having to individually click on each house, for example. And I think that the building portion is quite similar to other building portions in other games, but it feels remarkably more fair, at least here. It feels a lot easier to kind of get your buildings going quicker than it does in other mobile games. It's very generous, I think. Let me get some building going. Ooh. Well, of course, decor points are a part of leveling up, so... Hmm. It's not like we don't have the money for it. <laughs> it's not like we don't have the money for a... For a clock tower. Clock towel? That isn't very scary. Oh, God. All right, can you move over? All right, let's have a look. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Might not be able to build that. Oh, here? Perfect. <laughs> My kingdom grows. Very, very good. Very good indeed. Apologies for my mic, everyone. I am still trying to get it fixed. It's being weird. I might honestly just have to buy a new one. It is what it is. And here we are. Oh, I had level that up. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Of course. Yes, 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 yes. There are a lot of interesting features in this game. So obviously you've got this fountain of abundance, which just gives you a lot of free dopamine every now and again. But also... Where? I, I can't remember where it is. Where is the, 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 the Tree of Wishes? Where is it? Tree, there it is. Every now and again, one of, your, one of your cookies will wish for something. Something deeply intrinsic to them. And I feel like through this, you learn a little more about who you are. About who they are. So why not? Too scared to be alone? Have a small man and an axe. The crops must grow faster. Have this gelatinous liquid. May all cookies overcome their hardships. Have a deadly weapon. I am the greatest lord of any kingdom. Truly, truly, I think I am. Why don't we take a look at some PvP, eh? I'm just trying to remember where we go to play. There we are. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Let me do a bounty. The Raging Cake Ball or the Solid Black Sugar Golem. I haven't done this one before. Let's take a look. We've got our regular old team. We've got all of our boys ready. Let's let's hop in, shall we? Yes, you are, my lord. I thought so. I thought so. The Solid Black Sugar Golem. Here we go. Oh, 
I shall keep my oath. You guys are hearing how great the voice acting in this game is. It's a lot of fun to listen to. What other games I think might sort of, you know, it's sort of, it's sort of in, um, in the best interests of mobile games specifically these days to be quite sort of, to cut back on resources and to produce content as fast as possible. But I think, you know, Cookie Run have kind of like cut past that and every character is fully voice acted, you know, and the performances are all pretty good as well. Each one's got their own animations and everything. And now we have to fight the Chunkus brother. Ooh, a devastating blow. Let's wipe him out. Do it. Do it, please. Yes, very, very good. Very good indeed. Not a problem at all for an elite gamer like myself. Sorry, it's a sponsored stream. I can't act that way. I was, I was, listen, that wasn't unsafe at all. I was just mimicking the, the cookie in the middle. Why do we do one more? Why do we do just one more? Can I get just one more? Can we please just get one more? Yeah, you heard nothing. Exactly! Yeah, you didn't hear anything. Come on. I shall keep my oath. <laughs> the combat is always... It sort of follows the same formula of being very fast-paced and always down this one lane, at least from what I've experienced, but there's always kind of like another level to it where you have to pick your cookies wisely and make sure that they have good synergy with each other. And of course, all of that gets into a much more complicated territory when, well, well, the gotcha comes into effect, you know what I'm saying? When suddenly you start, oh, oh, big boy. Big boy is here to deliver CC on a large scale, but we're here to also heal through the damage and generally show him that he clearly hasn't been spending enough on his gotcha rolls. Does the game have a lottery part? Oh, yes, it does. All right. Level two. I think we're quite all right. I've had enough of that. I've had enough of that. This black sugar golem means nothing to me now. It means nothing to me now. We'll level up again. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do level up my clock towel. Complete a balloon expedition. Ooh. Perhaps I will. The cookies are exploring the land. There's another thing I was telling you about juice. There's just a lot that goes on in every part of the game. This is an idle part. You would send your cookies on missions, and they do it for you, and yet still, there's a really nice animation done for you. Hmm. Oh, 13 of those? Yes, please. Hang on. Come back to me, come back to me. What have you got? What have you got? What have you brought me? Lovely. Perfect. Fantastic. Fantastic. Is it PvP time? I think it might be. I think it might be. Don't spend the gems. What do you mean, don't spend the gems? I was born to spend. So earlier on, I beat these two. Just absolutely destroyed them. And now, I'm going to be honest with you. Let's take a look at my attack power. 15,000. It's very good. And you look at the next battle up here. 24,000. I think I might be slightly screwed. Is there, um... Is there any... Is, is there another one I can do? Ah, oh. I did that one. Um... Right, is there only a little bit more? Revenge. Alright, revenge. Yeah! So the PvP is essentially... It's essentially pitting yourself against the party of another player. And I'm not going to say that I'm incredible at PvP, but I kind of am. So my health rapidly decreasing at this point, that's all just a side effect of my strategy. Um, it's going to increase all of a sudden, so we're on 2% right now, but... Right, well, uh, so what happened there... Um... 
It was all part of my plan. Um, uh, just making them feel like a sense of a sense of confidence, and uh, you know, and getting them getting them all kind of like. Uh, Why? Listen, 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 listen. What other kind of cookies we got? What other kind of cookies can we swap in? You guys aren't really pulling your weight right now. Yeah, I don't know if any of them are. Ah, now see, now see, I see. I think, I think you're good, but you could be better. Who have we got? Who have we got? We got you. We got you. Hmm. Why don't? All right, here's a plan. Here's an idea. Why don't we move you over there? Yeah. Why don't we move you? Oh, do they have to? Damn. Why don't we try this? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Give that another try, shall we? I reckon we could do it. You can't do it again! Huh? Oh my goodness. Alright, you know what? I know we're gonna lose this, but... Why not give it a try anyway? I mean... Why not give it a try anyway? I mean, I... I'm a man of my word. I'm a man of my word, and I will... Pursue with PvP no matter what. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now listen, now listen, now no 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 listen, listen, listen. Why don't you just calm down? Why don't you just calm down? Hey, 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 buddy, why don't you just calm down? Hey. I think they slipped some of Cusco's poison into my into my into my drink, you know what I'm saying? I think that ooh. Right, well. That's PvP. Oh goodness! Wow. Oh, oh. You know, just gotta get a stretch in after that. You know, fresh up, beating up some other players. You know, making sure that they really feel the the depths of what they've of the the mistake they made by challenging me. Ooh, oh, yeah. God, yeah. Feels good. Feel the burn. You know what I mean? But I mean, that whole time we've been upgrading my TikTok tower. So I mean, TikTok tower. So I mean, who's really winning here? Right? Who's really winning here? Now, there's another aspect to this game that I think would really bear worth looking at. Have you guys guessed what it is? Yes, I'm not going to sit around and wait for you to answer that, because I know that you know what it is. It's gotcha. They got this new banner. Got this new banner with this lovely, lovely man. Wildberry cookie. Right on the front. Oh, beautiful. Oh, what a beautiful man. Look at his hair. Look at his gauntlet. Look at his body. A very serious, stern man. A very aggressive cookie. And one that we are going to recruit immediately. Here we go. Draw ten. I think I will. Who are we going to get? Who are we going to get? The witch cooks us a brew. Blah, 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 Use. Ugh. My goodness. A golden cookie implanted in the ground. We got a wildberry cookie soulstone. We're off to a fantastic start. Onion cookie soulstone. So for those of you who don't know, soulstone. Ooh. Onion cookie. Onion cookie. Fresh off the presses. Onion cookie. Because if you don't know, soul stones are used to kind of upgrade your upgrade your cookies. So all of these are damn, damn, oh, damn. Ah, oh, damn. Well, we did get a cookie. We did get this lovely lady. All right, we'll take a look at her in a sec. We'll take a look at her in a sec. Let's go for another ten pull. Let's go for another ten pull. I mean. It's never first pull of the day curse, right? First pull of the day curse. You never wind up with the one you actually want. The first pull you get. Am I gonna use you? Why yes. Oh, <gasps> that looked different than last time. Yay! We got another gingerbread. Love our boy. Love him. What's going on here? The stronger the power, the more prudence required. 
What, am I watching a movie now? Hey! Second temple of the day! Who... Who doubted me? Who doubted me? Thank you, Cookie Run. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for blessing my polls. Look at this. For the Hollyberry Kingdom. Wildberry Cookie. And another one, for good measure. Another strawberry cookie. I think this lady's cute. I think this lady's cute. She's used to solitude. Tends to keep to herself. And when she uses her special ability, she says, Go away! Which, you know, we can all kind of relate to every once in a while. God! Second temple of the day. Wildberry cookie. There he is. There he is. And of course, well, I mean, I've got to check out the amount of Gotta check out the amount of the amount of gems we have, I mean. <laughs> oh this isn't ending anytime soon. <laughs> Let's take a look. Draw ten. Draw ten of those. Draw ten of those for me, Polly. Hey, draw ten of those ten pulls. Make me some pasta. Make it look like a fettuccine. <gasps> oh, she put an extra bit of love into that one. Oh, I wonder. I wonder. Everybody list. All right. All right, everybody. This is the moment. This is the moment when it decides the RNG So everybody put your hands together put them together rub that dough around and do it Oh That same thing happened last time same thing happened last time so another wild berry cookie Soulstone. Rare rare Another onion cookie. Another onion cookie yet again. Yet again. Yet again. Rye cookie. Cherry cookie. Solstone. Moon rabbit cookie. Who could this be? Where? <gasps> oh! Well, I can't really turn down a Tiger Lily cookie. I mean, she is an epic quality. It's not... I heard a different voice. I did think it might have been the super epic, but uh, sadly, not today. Not today. Unfortunate. Unfortunately. Unfortunate, but still, two epics in a row. Not bad. Not bad. Day 1000 at this current camp. Da <laughs> Sounds awful. Good lord, are you alright? Can you get me another ten of those? Another ten of those, if you would be so kind. Another ten of those. Extra love for you. <laughs> Rub that pastry together in your hands, gamers. Put your hands together. <gasps> yet again, yet again, another epic cookie in the sky. Beet cookie. I sneezed on the beak, and the beak got sick. <laughs> I love it when dogs sneeze, you know? Like when they just go like <laughs> It might be it might be one of the greatest reasons for living. Who's it gonna be? As if there was ever any doubt, here he is again. Well berry cookie for a second time. For a second time. And more of his soul stones. My wildberry cookie is going to be kind of busted. I'm going to be honest. My wildberry cookie is probably going to be pretty busted. Oh, it's not fair. Oh, my luck's insane, is it? Oh, my goodness. Really? Is it really? Are you jealous? Oh, are you jealous? Oh, are you jealous? Why don't you... If you're jealous... If you're jealous... Why don't you process that anger by balling up a little fist? Ball up a little fist? Put it into your palm? Because in that palm is more pastry that we're turning into a cookie. Here we go. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Yet again! Yet again! My gacha luck is out of the... 
Oh my god. Oh my god. My cookie run gacha luck is beyond insane. Another onion cookie. Can we get one more? Can we get one more wild berry cookie? Can we get just one more? Can we get just one more, please? Can we possibly just like... Can we get one more? Can we get one more, please? Yet another? Can we get one more? Can we just get one more, please? Wildberry cookie. Oh my goodness, I don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Meh, the devil cookie. That's me. Well, speak of the devil. You're joking. No way, bro! Huh? <laughs> Guys, I'm standing up. I'm twerking right now. I'm twerking. Can you believe? Can you believe? That we got how many was it? How many was it? Four epic pulls in a row, and in the same as our third wild berry, we get clotted cream. Can you- can you fathom my gacha luck right now? It's your villain arc? Well, it's a nasty business, I am sure. I'm so glad you figured it out. Listen, if you guys are jealous of my gacha luck, just get more pulls. You'll get them eventually. You're joking! Wildberry, clotted cream, and mango. Come to me, my boys. If any of you are feeling particularly masochistic this evening, go ahead and screenshot this for me, will you? Go ahead and screenshot this, thank you. Streamer luck. Well, that, I mean, I, th I think that's just a bit of a cope, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, can I get one more? Can I just get... Once more for the run. One more. One of the best pulls you've witnessed as the company itself? Goodness me, Cookie Run. And Finana makes me very happy to know the real Cookie Run gamer is jealous of my pulls. <laughs> oh, finally. Oh, finally, a normal pull. Oh, finally. Oh, oh yes, just some soul stones. All right. Well, I guess I guess I can cope with just a few regular cookies after four, after four or five epic cookies in a row. You know, maybe just one, maybe just one, just one. We still got some, still got some pretty good soul stones as well. I mean, look at all of these. Can I just get one more? Can I just get one, just one more? Can I just get one more? Is she gonna put some love in it for us? Oh, she's putting some evil in it. She's putting some evil in it. All right, all right. She's putting some evil in it. Okay, okay, okay. Some Ike Evelyn in it. Come on, give us that space cookie. Damn, damn. All right, never mind, never mind. I'm scared to play Genshin again now. I feel like I'm gonna, I feel like my gacha luck school all worn out. Onion cookie. Ognion. The wizard cookie. Another. Another for me, please. <laughs> Yet another. Some fairly, some fairly, uh, sort of rudimentary pulls, but that's fine. We've had our glory. We've had our glory. But you know, could I just get one more? Can I just get one more? Can we just like, can I just get one more actually? Can we just please get like one more? 
Can we just get one more, please? Get a little bit of an evil, an evil stir there, possibly. Can I just get one more? Could I just possibly please get one more? No. All right, fair enough. You know, I I think I'm content with that. We went quite far. We uh, we sort of barraged the game with more poles than I think we really needed. And, uh, well, now I'm the, possibly the richest cookie run player on the planet. I'd like to thank... Uh, I'd like to thank um, the Academy. I'd like to thank uh, my parents, wherever they are, and however many thousands of years old they are, for having blessed me with this much luck. Uh, I'm sure that they wanted it uh, for this gacha game rather than anything meaningful in life. But you know what? I think Cookie Run Kingdom is pretty meaningful. That was our last ten pull. Why don't we take a look at what we earn? I've met Mango Cookie. The gentle guide Mango Cookie has found his way to your kingdom. Use this package to make this cookie even stronger. I don't know. I mean, do I? You've met Wildberry Cookie. And you've met Glutted Cream Cookie. Guys... It's an honor to contribute toward the prosperity of the Republic. Cookie Runners, how does it feel? There he is. There he is. Ooh, level up. I think I will. I think I will. Promote! Oh, if only I could. Not enough soul stones. If only I could. Upgrade? I think I will. I think I will. How about the man of the hour? It is my duty to follow royal decree. Man of his word. Man of honor. Interesting. Why don't we level him up a little? Strength alone does not bring victory. Hard work always pays off. <gasps> Hard work pays off. He stays hungry and he devours. This will keep me going. This will keep me going. Oh, we can promote him. We can promote him. Oh yeah, because we got this motherfucker four times. I am not blinded by power. I, after my polls today. I'm feeling pretty blinded by power, I'm gonna be honest with you. I could be completely real with you. Oh, can we, can we just get one more? Can we promote you one more time? Can we just promote you one more time? Can we just give you one more promotion? Never once have I, questioned my path. I question my path every day. But not when I'm getting such good gacha pulls. Oof. Oof. Searing Raspberry. Have it, mate. Have it. <sighs> I want to take my new cookies into battle, to be honest with you. I mean, look at these two. Look at them. Look at it. Look at how many Wobbery cookies I've got in my party. Look at it. Look. What did I call him? Oh, nothing. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. You, you, my entrusted sponsors, heard nothing. You heard nothing at all. Do you know, do you know, I feel quite frustrated with our results in the PvP arena earlier. I am going to take our cookies back to the arena. Why don't we, why don't we, Wildberry, why don't you pop in? And why don't you pop in? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, why don't we give that another go? 17,000 attack power now. Now that's a little bit better. That's a little better. Okay, okay. Attack power 17. Oh, you can only fight them once. Refresh. Oh! Only 13,000? That mic buzzing, that was my excitement. <laughs> oh, you poor soul. Only 13,000 attack power. You clearly don't have gacha lock as good as mine. 
Here we go. I want to see what this guy does. Uh, boom! For peace and justice. That's what that guy was using on us. He had good gacha luck as well. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Goodness me. We are done here. 15,000. Well, well, I mean, 15,000, I suppose. I suppose there's no, I suppose there's no. Oh, you know what? I want to swap you out for this big guy. I feel like this big guy, he just kind of, he, I don't know. He's more convincing as, as like a frontliner. You know what I mean? I, I, tr I trust him just a little bit more, just a little bit more. 15,000. Well, you know, it's a powerful, powerful, powerful frontline. You know, powerful attack power. But will it be enough to stop the amount of money that I've spent? Now, that's the question. Let me just let me just click on these as fast as I can. Uh, the faster I click, the more power I will have. God, look at this guy go! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! This is a victory for all of us. So it is. Damn it, I'm addicted now. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I felt the same way same way in other gacha games. It's like, ooh, you know, you get you get the powerful people because you 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 just decide to put a little bit of money down and then suddenly the game really opens up. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you just just all at once, please, all at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine, five, four, three percent, four, one percent, zero percent. Game really does have a way of getting its hooks into you, doesn't it? All right, all right, all right. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, there are so many people with lower attack power than us. Listen, chat. Listen. I know, I know, I know that I don't need to, but I would dearly like to. Do it. 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 Oh, what a what a pathetic display! Oh, what a pathetic display! Tiddly, TDL, TDL the second or whatever your name is, pathetic, pathetic. Oh, disgusting. It's a me, a Mario. This guy's on YouTube, everybody, so make sure to check him out. It's me, Mario YT. Clearly, he thinks his Cookie Run Kingdom is something to be feared, but we're here to show him that our gacha luck says otherwise. Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> Look at all these effects! The amount of dopamine rushing into my brain, it's insane, it's insane. I haven't felt so much pleasure... Well, since that one time back in the 1700s. But you wouldn't know a thing about that, would you? Now we're very close. I'm just gonna, just, just gonna, just gonna. Your tier. I'm ranking up. I'm ranking up. Can we get to gold? Can we possibly get to gold? Oh, we've got another thirteen thousand person. Ooh, I'm sorry to do this to you. I'm very sorry to do this to you. Akum addicted. Yes, yes, just with everything you've got, can you power forward? I wasn't even looking. Did I get the super epic? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, and it wasn't even hard. I think I just have special gamer powers. Oh, refill arena tickets. Oh, yes, please. Oh, I think I will. I think I will. I might be a whale, but... Uh, you know, it is... It is what it is. 
I can't help but feel as though the vast majority of my power is being owed to the fact that our wild berry is like... What? 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 We went from 50% to nothing. What, what, what happened? What happened? What, 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 what did they do? We did... We, 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 it was like one attack and we all died. Not to worry. Not to worry. Not to worry. Not to worry. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. Not to worry. Not to worry. We'll give it another go. Not to worry. Yes, it's fine. Just one more. Just if, Can we just get one more? Can we just get like one more? Oh my god. You know, this PvP aspect is pretty fun. I gotta be real with them. I have... Uh, uh, flew clue clue... Too close with the sun cookie run. What do you call this? This, is a, this person had a higher attack power. This person had an even higher attack power. Clearly, I was aiming too low. And God himself decided to strike me down. This person's only got four cookies. Or is that a hidden one? Let's have a look. 93 each. Very even. They're slightly below me. Alright. I see good things on the horizon. Oh, uh, well. Oh! Oh! What happened? We were on 30%! I didn't... Well guys, that's gonna do it for today's Cookie Run stream. Uh, I had a really, really good time exploring this game with you all and uh, winning and never losing at the PvP aspect of the game. And uh, overall, you know, I just really... Had, uh, had a good time. I think this is a lovely game. It's a lot of fun. And uh, the PvP, to be honest, a little too easy. Um, would really appreciate, like, some stronger opponents to come and uh, to come and try and defeat my cookies. And also, gacha, a little too generous. You know, it could be good if they made the gacha a little bit rarer, because I just got every cookie today. I think I actually filled out the entire roster of cookies today. But, you know, not, not everyone can be an elite gamer like me. So, whatever, right? I just want to say thank you very much for um, all of the support today. I've really, really enjoyed this this, um, this sponsored stream. Getting introduced to and playing this game through uh, for this stream has been a really, really fun time. And I really can't wait to get to play a little more of it. So just a reminder, all of the links are in the description to go and play Cookie Run Kingdom for yourself. I had a lovely time playing this game and I think that you will as well. So once again... Thank you to Dev Sisters and to Cookie Run Kingdom for sponsoring me today. I had a lovely, lovely time, and I really hope that everyone watching, uh, those of you who have not played Cookie Run Kingdom, give it a try, and those of you who are Cookie Runners, who might be seeing me for the first time, maybe you'll like to stick around. We are going to be playing some Minecraft tomorrow, and members are going to be uh, going to be helping me decide on some new emotes that we're going to add to the membership system. So that's all from me. Thank you very, very much for turning out, guys, and I will see you all in the next one. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much. Goodbye.